On October 19th, Comet Sighting Spring will be making a very close flyby of Mars. The particles coming off of the comet pose a little bit of concern to our orbiters, so what we're trying to do is phase our orbiters to go behind Mars during that period. Coming into view here, you'll see our simulation of the comet. The comet is depicted here by a sphere and the tail as the uh, small cone that comes off of it. Mars Odyssey's camera field of view is this rectangle with a green rectangle within it, and that reflects a push broom imager. We're going to sweep the comet and its tail multiple times in order to put together a full composite image of the comet and its tail. The imager, you see the field of view, is not quite big enough to do it all in once, so we do it several times to try to make sure we cover the whole area. We sweep it back and forth, and then that will be put together on the ground to generate a, a full-blown image of the entire area. Once that's done, the comet goes back out of our field of view as we come around the backside of Mars. And then we reconfigure the orbiter. We slew back to our normal attitude. We reconfigure our solar arrays. And then we slew our high gain antenna back to Earth so we can reestablish Earth communications. This is a rare opportunity for us. Typically, we send our orbiters to comets in order to do cometary science, but we're getting one for free where we've got three orbiters ready to go to image this comet as it gets close to Mars. We're really looking forward to that.